for those of you that don't have a lot of time to watch a long video, I'm just going to tell you how to beat him at the beginning here. Uh, you want to push him into the end, and then go in after him, hit him with your sword until he goes invulnerable, leave the end, go back in, he's de to you, you can hit him a few more times, he'll go invulnerable again. Rinse and repeat until he's down to around 150 health, at which point he'll start going giant, so the technique of hitting him like that doesn't work because... He just regens health. It just doesn't work. Uh, leave the end, come back in so he de to you, and then wait for him to stop being giant. Throw some of these potions of Demon Bane down on him. Splash potions of Demon Bane. And he will take damage from that, but he will not aggro to you for some reason. It's not attributed to you when you hit him with the potions. So you can just hit him with that until he's really low health. And then you can go in and finish him off with the sword, because I think you might need that in order to get the kill credit on him, but I'm not certain. So, yeah, there you go. That's how you beat him. Pretty easy. Uh, takes a really long time to make the Demon Bane potions, but other than that, great. Now, all right, let's kill the Shade of Leonard. Okay, we got our diamond armor, so you're going to want to be fairly late game with this stuff. Uh, you don't need the Batania stuff, so you can do this, which is vanilla. I'm using a Flugel Tiara to fly. I'm using a Glove Power Sash to move quickly. I'm using that for whatever, and I'm using a Ring of Protection for protection. So always, always use protection. Uh, I'm also using a, a Manuel and Rape here, which allows you to do a lot of damage really quickly without him getting that like moment of invulnerability. Okay, so this is yeah, you can. This is just what I used when I fought him initially and finally managed to kill him. So, yeah. Now the thing that you're actually gonna need to make this work is the Splash Rue of Demon Bane and Cure Buffs. This one's Demon Bane three. You can just make more if you. Uh, I don't want to put the extra stuff in to make a Demon Bane 3. Uh, but yeah, here's the here's the recipe for it. It's a Mandrake Root, a Nether Wart, a Tear of the Goddess, and a Diamond to increase the capacity. Because it's going to take 7 capacity points in order to make this thing work. I don't... Uh, potions are weird. It's a... These are the things that are optional. The Glowstone and the Blaze Rod. That elevates the Ice, which is the active ingredient in Demon Bane. So if you put these in first, that'll make it Demon Bane level 3, because each one adds a level to it. Uh, this adds the Cure Buffs, and then this makes the Dispersal Throne. So then I just take my glass bottle, bottle it up, and there we go. We have a Splash Potion of Demon Bane and the Cure Buffs. You're going to want around 32 of these. I made 64, just to be safe, when I did it initially, because, you know, I didn't want to have to do it again, because he heals. Uh... Fun fact about these, they do hurt you, so be careful with that. Okay, so I've already, uh, oh, be sure to have a mana tablet if you're going to try and fly around with the the flugel tiara right there. Okay, this, so I'm just going to summon uh, Leonard real quick. Uh, you should already know how to summon Leonard, but I'm just being thorough here. Uh... It's pretty easy to summon, which uh, is rather deceptive because he's not easy to kill. This is not really the intended way to kill him either. Uh, all right. If you can't, if you don't have enough mana in, in your uh, altar to summon him, then use these infernal glyphs. They decrease the price by a huge amount, but increase the chance of bad things happening to you, like paralyzed three there, or uh, things catching on fire a little bit. All right, now the Shade of Leonard, he's, uh, if you're like me, you immediately, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Immediately punched him and, uh, tried to kill him, and you got him really low down, and then he murdered you because he became invulnerable. Uh, but he does not, he's not aggressive. He's, he's passive at first. It's kind of strange. Anyways, I need to bring him into the end in order for this to work, so. Come on, Leonard. He does follow you. What just happened to me is he cast Mortal Coil on me, which is a buff that when it runs out, I die. Just straight up die. Come on, Leonard. Come on, Lenny. Here, boy. I'm the Goat Whisperer. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh. Uh, this really doesn't have the knockback on it. <sighs> Come on. Well, alright, so... I'll give you an ex- so you see how he's pissed off at me now? 
Now, if I leave the world and come back, I already killed the Ender Dragon. Try and kill the Ender Dragon close to your portal in. Uh, nope. I have sinking right now, so I can't get up there. Hmm. Awkward. I'll have a few seconds, because the mortal coil actually gets cleansed when you exit the end for some reason. Alright, where is he? Hey, there you are, Leonard. Come on. See, he's not hes not aggressive anymore. So... How you doing? Alright, uh, let's try this again. That's a lot nicer than pigmen. Pigmen are angry at you forever. Come on, Leonard. Here, come on. Oh, he's getting close. He's getting close. Right here, Leonard. Oop. Hey, he's in here with me. He's not even angry at me. Okay. Uh, Leonard, you need to... Yeah, okay. I like to uh, trap Leonard so that I know where he is every time I come in here, because this is all about speed, because he regens health really quickly. So let me just build my Leonard shack real quick. Now he gets tall, so you might want to make it three high. Uh, those zombies aren't really ignore them. Okay, we should be good now. All right. Okay, so for now, you don't really need to worry about this thing. Also, a helpful tip here. When you leave the end in multiplayer, I believe, only, uh, you I think it counts as respawning, so if there are any of those mods that make it so you can't kill yourself for food, then you need food every time you leave because it takes away, like, five hunger or something. So it's important to have... Lots of food. Okay. Uh, I'll just take all these. I don't. I don't plan on dying. So. All right. So, the idea is that we kill him with using as little little potions as possible because he's a pain to make. So I'll show you how you do a lot of damage to him without potions. Okay. So you know how I was talking about the Manuelian rapier, how it allows you to do a lot of damage quickly because there's no iframes. So ordinarily you wouldn't be able to hit somebody this quickly, but it's a rapier, so it's it's great. This one has a crap load of quartz on it to make it do more damage, but yeah, so just keep hitting him until he goes invulnerable. Yep, okay, so he's invulnerable because he summoned these things that are shields. Now the way that the Witchery Dev wants you to deal with this is the red ones can be hurt by fire or blast potions, the green ones can be hurt by normal damage, and the blue ones, which aren't any right now, those ones can only be killed by potions of harming, which are actually more of a pain to make in my opinion than... Yeah, no, they're more of a pain to make than just, like, these potions, so. Uh, that's that's a personal opinion. Uh, and then by the time you've killed all of them, usually, he's already healed up more damage, and then you can hit him two times, and then he'll summon them again. So, watch this. Okay, I hit him twice. And then you just rinse and repeat until you get to around 150 health. Uh... Come on. All right. Someday, sometimes it doesn't feel like you do any damage to him when you're in there. Sometimes, for some reason, he just lets you wail on him forever. Uh... Yeah, see, that's three hits. That's good. That's good. He's not healing while well, the chunk's not loaded, so you could just wait out here and let the food heal you, but... For your consideration, I'm going to just use the NEI. Alright. I'm going to edit until uh, he's down to when you want to start using the potions. Alright, I think this time he's going to do the thing he does. Yeah, there we go. See that? That's why he wanted to make it three high, because it gets, it gets giant. If you're looking up this guide on how to kill him easily, you may have not gotten this far. Uh, so, yeah. You actually... So you want to leave now. Uh, when he's giant, he, like, doesn't take damage. It's, it's very annoying. But, uh, I'll just come back in here. And he's still gonna be giant, but then we, then we wait. Uh, 
And we wait. He's going to get small, and then we're going to hit him with these splash potions of Demon Bane and Cure Buffs. The Cure Buffs is theoretically to clear off his giant thing. So actually, hold on, let's try it. No, didn't work. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't seem to work. I've seen it work in videos, but you might only need the Demon Bane. Uh, Reek of Misfortune's wicked cheap, though, so... It's really not that big of a deal. Although, you could cut the diamond out of the recipe if it's true that I, you don't need it. Uh, ah, there we are. Okay. Alright, so he's... So he takes damage from that. And he's gonna keep taking damage from that. And because he can't tell where it's coming from for some reason, it doesn't aggro to you. Uh, he never goes invulnerable. He never summons his shields or goes invulnerable. So you can just keep hitting him. I would like suggest getting him down to low health and then going in and finishing him off with the sword if you can. Uh, I'm going to let him get up to 20 health so that we don't uh, screw up here. Okay. And there we go. He's dead. Uh, like I said, I didn't actually get the credit in regrowth for killing him, but if you're just doing this, and I don't, I don't know why, and I, may, I, I managed to kill him the normal way afterwards, but I still didn't get the credit. So this might work for that. It might not. Uh, yeah, that's... It's not easy. It's, it requires a lot of preparation. I'm wearing full diamond armor, but... It's certainly easier than the way you're supposed to kill him, which involves lots of potions of harming, which are really hard to hit these guys with. I mean, I'm bad at games, but man. And also setting these guys on fire is a pain. It's just it's just no good, especially if you don't have Thaumcraft or something to shoot a flamethrower at them. It's awful. Awful. Eh, but you got your Leonard's Urn and uh, Demon Heart. And there, there you go. That's how you defeat Leonard.